Welcome back. This is going to be my daily review of the FANG stocks, which did really well today. Most of them are up uh, at least at 2%. Um, and more than that, Apple is, uh, is almost at 4% at this point. Um, and the main conclusion here is we're probably not out of the woods yet. So if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe and uh, hitting the like button and bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start off with Facebook. So Facebook ran into support at the 100 moving average, which is around at the 246 level. We are trading underneath the 50 moving average. We are also trading underneath the, uh, these two other exponential moving averages. And as long as that is the case, this market will not go higher. Um, this looks very similar to the NASDAQ. If people want to see the uh, analysis of the uh, indexes, I will upload them as well tonight. Uh, but these, um, the fan stocks and also the NASDAQ are basically trading uh, in, in very similar ways at the moment. And, and, the, and the main conclusion is that we're trading in, in between the 100 moving average and the 50 moving average. And as long as we don't break through the 50 moving average, we're not going higher. And as long as we don't break through the, uh, the 100 moving average, we're not going lower. So we may go basically trading sideways for, uh, for some time. The daily indicators for, the, uh, for Facebook are, are getting more promising. We are basically it looks like we're hitting the bottom of the MACD and going to you know, travel up again to the signal line indicating bullish momentum. However, uh, weekly uh, stochastic is is basically showing downwards momentum. So short term, we'll probably rally to the 50 moving average. Uh, long term for next week, we'll probably go and retest this 100 moving average um, and then just bounce in between this area here. And then we're supposed to go to Amazon. So Amazon also found support at the 100 moving average. It is now uh, traveling up towards the, these uh, two exponential moving average. And we are also having the 50 moving average above. So we're similar to Facebook, also trading within these uh, two moving averages. Um, at this point, the daily indicators for... for uh, for the Amazon are looking promising. We can look at also the daily indicator for, for the stochastic, which is also showing the upwards momentum. So we'll probably go all the way up to the 50 moving average. If we break that and have a candlestick above the 50 moving average, then we'll go higher. If we were to break the 100 moving average, which I do not expect that we will do, um, just because this is Amazon and and Amazon has been benefiting significantly due to this um, to this crisis, and there's no reason for to expect Amazon to for the stock to just couple collapse. There is real earnings uh, behind this company, and the valuation here is 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 uh, is is just fine. There is this is one of the richest companies in the world. And it will just continue growing and therefore expect their stock to continue growing. If you look at Apple, which is up at 3.46% today, it ran has run into trouble here. It rallied all the way up to these uh, moving averages. And at this point, we probably see uh, trying to uh, getting across these moving averages. If we get across it, if we have a green candlestick above these moving averages, then of course we'll go higher. But I do expect us to go and test this 100 moving average uh, before we do that. Uh, this, just looked, this just looks wrong. This just looks like... Um, this just looks, um, how do you say it, endless. Um, we have a gap here, which has not been filled. If we went all the way down to the 100 moving average, we would have filled this gap. Um, so I do expect that to happen. If we get rejected here significantly, then I, I do expect us to go all the way down to the, uh, to the 100 moving average, which is around at uh, 100 level, 98, 99 level. 
Um, and if we, if we also look at the weekly stochastic, it is really negative. So that basically means that we have some um, downward uh, momentum left to go. So we just see if if uh, if we get close to the hundred moving average, then this is a major buying opportunity to get uh, a hand on basically cheap uh, Facebook stock. Uh, so look at Netflix. It also bounced from the 100 moving average. It went across it several times, but never ever managed to really um, put this stock under more pressure. At the moment, we are trying to get close to these uh, 50 moving average, and um, it's just a matter of time before we go across this. You can see that the weekly stochastic is going to cross uh, the the red line here and at some point we'll basically break upwards and that basically means that we'll also continue upwards um, the 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 highest here will of course be uh, resilience at 558 and we also have this massive high here of 576 no reason to uh, to short this market this company is not going anywhere it'll just continue growing and this stock will also continue growing so, but the most promising stock of all of these fang stock is probably Google. So Google has tested the 200 moving average several times, got rejected every single time. At this point, I do expect Google to go much higher. Uh, it will go all the way to these highs again. Um, it, we have been here before. We got rejected back here several times we also did uh, did it several times here there's no reason to think that google will break down any significantly we look at historically this has been major major support and therefore uh, i also expect google to go higher from here we are about at the bottom of the weekly stochastic uh, and uh, and uh, technical indicators are very promising for google so out of the fan stocks, Google will be my bet to buy uh, at this point. So hope you find this uh, video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hitting the like button and the bell button. And good weekend and see you next week.